Hey guys, it's me again, Toby from Kitte, and today I want to introduce you to this new amazing AI model that everyone is currently talking about called Nano Banana by Google. We've just implemented this to uh, Kittle and Kittle Flows, and it's it's really a game changer. There are a lot of a lot of new use cases um, that you can use it for. It's extreme powerful. It's super fast. It's much cheaper than using GPT, and again, especially with using it with uh, Kittle Flows, it creates so much new possibilities. You can really really go wild with this. And some of the use cases and some of my favorite use cases I will uh, show you in this video. All right, let's go um, with the first one. So it's extremely good at preserving um, the details of your original design. This makes it perfect for creating mockups. So this is uh, one of our uh, templates from Kiddo. And I'm creating a smart board connection here. Um, and here on the right side, you already see we have this model picker here now, and I can select Nano Banana here. Um, and it uses my original artboard here as an input, and now I can give it a simple prompt to turn this into a mock up. So, create a close up shot of this design on a dark hoodie. That's all it needs. Let's run it and see what we get. As I've mentioned, it's also much faster. So instead of like taking a minute, it usually takes like 10 to maximum 15 seconds to generate um, the output. And here we go. This is it. It's a close up shot of a hoodie mock up of a dark hoodie. Um, and what I've mentioned already, it's so good at preserving all the details. So everything you see here in the design is preserved, right? Even the smallest details, smallest lines of this uh, logo, everything is still there and completely intact. And this is what it makes so powerful for mockups. But let me show you some more examples. Here, I basically did the same thing um, and turned this design uh, into a mockup. In this case, uh, some model standing in a tennis court um, and look at all the details. Like, how amazing is that? Like, all the small text completely preserved here. Like, the lettering is still there. Even, like, the small illustration um, of the tennis record we have here at the top, it's still preserved, like, one-to-one. -one. And this is also what GPT was always struggling with, right? Like, preserving all the details um, of your design. It was always like altering the design slightly which makes it made it hard like to predict but nano banana is much better at this which again makes it so great for mockups i continued this flow here with another board and just for asked for different like camera angles with very simple prompts so in this case i just asked to make a top angle shot of this photo and it even preserved the character perfectly so this already feels like an entire photo shoot, right? And even here, like all the details are still there. It's quite amazing. Like, what should I say? It saves so much time. Um, and I went even further, like creating a full body shot of, of, of her, like playing tennis. And even here, like, what should I say? Like, this is, this is really mind blowing, right? It's really mind blowing. Let me go on. Let me go on. Very similar use case. So for branding, um, mockups and stuff, here I just started with a very simple logo and then um, created some like concepts for rain jackets um, and used this logo also as an input uh, to put on the sleeve, for example. And look how nicely the details are preserved here as well. Right? It even added this little uh, icon here at the top, which is which is which is just amazing. I feel. Uh, and then same thing, like you can use the same character, put it in different sceneries, create close-up shots of this, uh, even like expand uh, the collection of your items, right? You can, you, you can really do anything, like there are no limits. One of my favorite use cases, uh, 
So I have this very detailed uh, uh, template here of a whiskey bottle label. I, I, I just turned it into like a 3D mock-up, 3D model. And same thing here again, right? All the details, even the smallest text is, is really preserved here. And then you can really go wild with very simple prompts. Um, let's try, turn this bottle by 30 degrees. Yeah, yeah, tried a different concept, putting the bottle into the scenery and it works quite amazing, right? Here, yeah, just asked to like add a glass of whiskey um, and it does a job, what should I say? Uh, now it turns it by 30 degrees and voila, we have another mock-up in just a few seconds and it looks great. And this is actually basically a very similar concept, right? So here I started with uh, my product and then I created advertisement graphics out of this. So this could be easily on a poster on the street, like advertising this energy drink, right? And what I really love is like the details here and that like the details don't like interrupt the actual image right so i have all this water drops for example on this can and um the design is still super accurate right even the smallest details of this tiger illustrations are still there which is which is really mind-blowing same thing here started with a product image um and then i yeah basically created different advertising shots um of this product. Already mentioned how strong it is at um, character consistency. So here are a few more examples. I started with this photo here on the artboard and connected a few uh, smart boards to put her into different sceneries, um, creating a close-up shot, sitting in a car here, in a bus, at a cafe, and so on. I think you get the point. Unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. And I feel especially with Kittle Flows, you can get so much out of this um, by creating, connecting um, multiple boards with the same input. You can easily explore a lot of different concepts um, in, in a matter of seconds or minutes. The same works very well also uh, with more stylized graphics. In this case, uh, I have this uh, vector guy here, this um, hard mascot. Simply put this on a on an artboard and then connect it to the smart board. And then I kind of crest the entire story with the same character. So here our uh, lovely heart is uh, surfing. Here having a party. Here getting married to the sun. Why not? Uh, everything is possible, as I said. Another amazing use case I would like to share is uh, simple image editing. So here I wanted to just turn the dress into uh, the yellow dress. Um, and you probably know how much time it takes to do this like in, in, in other image editing tools. So you would need to select the uh, dress accurately and then like treat the settings to uh, turn it to yellow, which can take some time. And now you can just do it with a very, very simple prompt. Turn her dress to be yellow. And voila, it does a very good job, right? And as I've shown already, so you can even continue. It, it keeps the character very consistent. Um, you can, yeah, put your character in different sceneries, uh, different poses, different camera angles. Really everything, everything is possible here. It's also extremely good for replacing or removing objects in, in photos. So here... I wanted to get rid of this logo on the t-shirt and just ask with a simple prompt, remove the logo from the shirt and voila, it's gone and it's done a nice job, right? Much, much better actually at, as a lot of like um, in-painting tools, I feel. Here, I just replaced the rabbit with a dog. Very simple, but it's it's amazing, right? Imagine how much time this would take you if you would need to do this manually. Um, here, very similar use case. I wanted to remove the boats here. So there are two, oh, there are actually three boats in the photo. Um, and yeah, I created a smart board uh, connection and asked to remove it and they're gone, right? 
even the small one is gone. I didn't notice that. <laughs> it's crazy. It removed all the boats. I also love to use it for text effects. Um, because it's so good at preserving the details, it really preserves the shapes of letters very well. So here I have this wonky kind of uh, vector lettering. Look at the K, for example. It has a very special shape, right? And if we look at this uh, text effect applied here, um, it completely preserves the shape of this letter, right? And all the other letters. So this is, this is extremely powerful. Like you can really turn any logo, any design into any style very easily while you keep all the details as they should be, which I think makes it extremely, extremely handy to use. Um, but of course, you can also go wild, replace the text, or do anything you want. I also love it, love to use Nano Banana and Kittle Flows to um, expanding my concepts. So I've created this uh, nice poster here of my little mouse friend, Trust Your Vision, uh, and I wanted to create like a series out of this. Right? I really love like how the florals in this design and the the coloring and so on. And I used um, Kittle Flows to create different variations of this with uh, different quotes. And I think Nano Banana does a very good job at this as well. So here I just changed the quote to keep growing and, um, and also the illustration with this mouse sitting on the mushroom. And it just preserves like the styling and everything so well. I said it hundred times now. It's 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 really mind blowing. It's it's a real game changer. I feel. Um, same thing here. I just continued the concept, um, changed the illustration and the text, and it's it's a very nice series of 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 posters already. I would love to see what you're creating with it. I really feel this is changing everything again. The only limit is your creativity. You can do anything. You can do anything if you're not the best illustrator if you're not the best typographer like these things doesn't matter anymore you can really do anything go wild uh go crazy we'd love to see what you're doing um please let me know what you think we are always happy about your feedback thank you so much ciao